What's up guys, David here. And if you guys enjoyed that intro, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. I was able to make the intro all dramatic with music and sound effects from clips I got from Audioblocks, which is a subscription-based royalty-free stock media site that gives you unlimited access to over 100,000 audio clips. And as a special deal for you phone buffs, Audioblocks is giving you a free seven-day trial where you can download up to 140 clips. Now, these clips are valued at almost 50 bucks a pop, so if you do the math, it adds up to an amazing deal. So if you're interested in getting some sound effects and music for your videos, for your songs, or whatever other creative work you do, take advantage of that seven day free trial by hitting that first link down below in the description. All right, let's get to getting rid of that cartoony look that comes with TouchWiz and do all that beautiful hardware some justice by making the phone look and feel like a Nexus. All right, so the first step to nextifying the Note 5 is to install a theme with Material Design. To do this, go to Settings, Find Themes, and then tap on Theme Store. From here, find a theme that's called either Material or Material Design, and note that while there are some material themes out there that cost money, there is one available for free if you can find it. Once you've found a material theme, click Download, and when it's done, press Apply. After a few seconds, the theme will finish installing, and voila, the settings and the UI in general now look much, much closer to stock Android and way less cartoony, so this step alone can make a huge difference. But we're not done yet. Step number two is to install the Google apps that you'd normally find on a Nexus phone. So go to the Play Store and download things like Google Calendar, Google Messenger, Google Camera, Google's Clock App, and a few other Google apps, all of which I'll be putting the links to down below in the description. After you've installed the Google apps, step number three is to disable both Samsung and any carrier bloatware that may be preloaded onto the phone. Do this by opening up the app drawer, hitting edit, and then tapping on the little minus icon next to the apps that you don't want. So in my case, I disabled all the AT&T apps, along with some Samsung ones like S-Voice and Milk Music. Disabling these unwanted apps not only makes the phone look cleaner, but it can also help the phone run a little smoother as well. So you didn't think we were going to stick with the TouchWiz launcher, did you? No way. Step number four is to install a new launcher. You can either get Google's own launcher, which I'll link to down below, or you can download a third party launcher like Nova Launcher that in addition to having this stock look, also comes with icon packs to match the icons on Nexus phones. Either way, after downloading your launcher of choice, press on the home button and you'll be given an option to choose your default launcher. Since we're gonna be sticking with the Nova Launcher, we'll tap on Nova here, which in turn will disable the TouchWiz Launcher. After you've set it as a default launcher, open the app drawer and go into Nova settings. If you bought the paid version, first thing I'd recommend doing is going into the apps and widgets option, selecting hide apps, and then hide any Samsung system apps that you downloaded Google ones to replace, like the camera and calendar. I'd also hide any apps that you wanted to delete earlier but couldn't. When done with that, go to the look and feel option in Nova settings, tap on icon theme, and set it to Android Lollipop. This will change the icons for apps like the dialer to look just like they do on Nexus phones instead of using Samsung's more cartoony icons. Last thing you need to do to get the launcher looking just right is to set the correct grid and icon sizes in Nova settings. So go to the desktop option and set the desktop grid to 5x4, then set the icon layout to an icon size of 125%. Do the same exact thing under the app and drawers option and the dock option and you'll be set. Last but not least, the fifth and final step is to get rid of those annoying touch with sounds by going back into the main system settings, tapping on sounds and notifications, then ringtone and sounds, and then switching off both touch sounds and screen lock sounds. Your sanity will thank you. And that's it, you've now made your Note 5 feel like a Nexus. Took a little bit of work, I know, and obviously TouchWiz is still running behind the scenes, but this is the closest thing you can get to the stock Android experience without having to actually root the phone. Anyways, that is it for me in this video. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.